Oh my we're gosh. Always live. How embarrassing. <laughs> All right, now that we're live, um, FXDFW Waterless Fishy versus FXDFW Hamiojo. I gotta say this before the the match starts. I have to get this off my chest. I'm so mad. I'm so mad right now that I lost. Yeah. Thorax knows it. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so we got Hamiojo versus Waterless Fishy. So we got Sheik versus um, versus Fox. Now this is a really cool matchup, I think. At high levels, at, at low levels it's boring because it's going to be dash attack fair and it's going to be wave dash up smash. But these guys can kill each other so well, and I love watching Hamiojo's uh, Sheik. Oh yeah, tell me I guess some of the options that they have really for chaos. All right, well Sheik's re recovery is really good until she breaks the mid percent, and then it's really, really bad. <laughs> so. Like, Fox is going to look to tack on pressure, um, crouch cancel. Sheik is going to try and grab a lot before, uh, or s to get Fox away from the crouch cancel percent, you know, get a some damage before she can start tilting, start dash attacking, stuff like that. Um, but Fox is really looking to, uh, well, I mean, this is kind of a stupid thing to say, but hit her off the stage and not let her come back. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it makes sense, though. It honestly no. makes complete sense. No, yeah. I just have to preface that with I'm well aware of how stupid that sounds. Ooh! Whoa, I yo. love that! That was so clean because they put him underneath the pineapple. Like, yeah. what's he going to do? Like, like, what, what's the angle? The stock was basically forfeit when Gabe missed the tech on the first back air. Yeah. Um, oh, there we go. See, uh, Sheik is really, really, really crouch cancelable. You know? All of our moves, like, uh, Fox can just crouch cancel shine, crouch cancel grab, crouch cancel up smash. Um, so Sheik really is fishing for grabs yeah, at this low percentage. So what's the history between these two players? You know, they play a lot. Uh, who typically wins? I, I, you know, it's, it's hard to say who typically wins. I think Cam Yojo right now is kind of on the winning streak, to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah? yeah. You guys got a PR or yeah, an official PR? A PR. And, uh, yeah, we have a PR. And uh, Cam Yojo is ahead of Gabe, for sure. Okay. That's but cool. Gabe is still really solid. And he's uh, he's taken over Cam Yojo a couple times as well. Yeah. So that it was go either way, honestly. That was actually pretty cool with Waterless Fishy. Um, Cam Yojo was getting shield pressured, and he was just kind of sitting there because he, you know, he wasn't trying to shield grab. And Waterless Fishy did a stutter step. He just kind of sat there and then baited out the grab and then he back aired him. So I don't know if that was just him messing up shield pressure or him being like the smartest man alive. He baiting out the grab. The world's most interesting man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He hasn't went near the edge there. I'm, I'm surprised that him Yojo was able to weave out of that so easily, to be honest. Oh my gosh. See this? This is good Sheik play. Oh my gosh. Like tricky movement, stay away from Fox, get some needles, and then grab him. Grabs and see so yeah now that see 62 percent he can he can tilt him he can dash yeah, attack him because he's out of the percentage where that cross cancel really comes into play like you mentioned before yeah all right let's see if he can get this shield pressure yo he makes he, it up that time he Mucho grabbed at the time he would have grabbed last time and he shined yeah, that was really good now this could be it honestly this could be the end of the game but Mucho, I don't know why he's walked that far back I don't know I guess he uh, assumed he would try and Firefox onto the stage. But honestly, if he was in a position to where he can't, there was no reason for Gabe not to just reactionarily go for the ledge. It was perfectly safe. No, I don't think he landed. Save the jump. Oh, oh he that was the missed. best angle I've ever seen. Oh my so, gosh. It was so good. But the Nair is going to take that stock. Cam Yojo is going to take that game. Wow. I know I talked a lot about uh, Waterless Fishy because he did a lot of impressive things, but Ham Yojo is just so solid. He, he clutched that game out. Well, not clutched it out. He kind of commandingly took it. <laughs> he take those. I always, I always do that. I notice a whole bunch of things that, that are like good. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. And then I look at the scoreboard, I'm like, oh, he lost. <laughs> I guess the other player was doing even better things. That's the thing, right? Like, some people have those bursts of brilliance, and some people are just consistent. Yeah. So this is a standard counter pick for Fox, obviously, low ceiling. Oh, yeah. It's going to kill really early, especially since, like, the go-to moves to kill Sheik are going to be up smash from the uh, p very poor recovery, you know, drill up smash, up throw up air. And also, it's large enough to the point where if Gabe wanted to, he could play super projectile based. Oh, and yeah. Put on a lot of damage with the laser. And it doesn't allow Sheik the top platform. Sheik's love top platforms, so she can transition kind of safely between the two. Yeah. And Sheik's really strong on platforms, especially with Ham Yojo being an ex uh, Yoshi main. I'm sure his shield drops are pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah. His shield drop game is impeccable. Ooh, he actually got the read and missed the, the grab. It looked like a wave dash back thing, and he was going to roll. Okay, Gabe ends up getting the grab there. Up air. Oh, up air to elf smash? I loved that up air. It was a good reaction on the missed tech. It was really fast. Oh, I think Gabe kind of knows, though. Gabe knows he's going to shield drop, so he just kind of respected him on that platform. 
<laughs> and that, you just gotta have to respect that, right? Yeah. There's something that I've noticed a lot when players are good at shield dropping. They like to shield drop, and you can actually just wait for them to do it. If they're on a platform shielding, um, and you don't attack them, they're probably gonna shield drop anyway, just to make sure that they can. <laughs> so you notice that a lot. Oh um, my! Escape. Whoa! That was oh. opportunity. He went so deep for that, and he missed. But it, that it, shield pressure. It's yeah. That time, still not gonna be enough. Miojo makes it back on the stage. He's gonna do some Shino styles. Yeah, he did the normal get up for the smash attack. He was kind of like right in front of him though, so that was that might have been hard. But it would have been faster to just ledge hop up smash or ledge hop up air. Although up air probably wouldn't have killed at 95. Good drill sign. Hemiojo trying to get in, but also trying not to overcommit. He doesn't yeah. want to get uh, punished with a wave shine up smash. So much damage. Okay, Ooh, this back throw. Every time I feel like when, when she gets that back throw, like, I, I feel like it, there's just such a high probability that, especially against the spacey, she can cover. Yeah, she can cover so many options, but the thing is, the spacies have just as many options as she can cover. She, they can the illusion, they can take a thousand different angles. So um, he covered the illusion first because it's the fastest option, but um, he didn't react quick enough or appropriately enough, sorry, to the uh, that level of Firefox. All right, so here we go. We have some projectile neutrals. And, you know, we're seeing uh, the air come out. Yeah. And we have to go for a wave land, miss the punish. Ooh, I think a down smash would have probably taken that stock. There we go. It takes it anyway. Indeed. That yeah, moment between a, a missed freeze stock and then the stock actually coming out, you're just like, ah, oh, at least I got it. <laughs> Good back <here. gasps> oh, oh, that, that was sick. <laughs> You know, one thing I have to give him Hamilton props on is how good he is whenever he's coming to mind. Like, this match is so far from over. Yeah, clutch factor. Especially with... Oh, oh my gosh. Especially with Sheik, who's got the needles. She's got the off the, uh, off the ledge plate. Let's see if... This. this is one throw away, honestly. Don't go over there, Gabe. Go over there. That's what Hamilton wants. Yeah, but, but Gabe's super patient. That's the thing. Yeah, so. it, it's good. You oh, my patient. God. Oh, no, he's over... <laughs> I said it, and Gabe's like, what are you talking about, JV? Good smash yeah, or to avoid the uh, second hit. I like the fair to prevent the shine follow-up as well. All right, now here's the moment where I would try to stay away from the ledge. You've got the game. Oh, he, he takes it anyway. Game. That's good. That's good. No, 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 no. I saw it too. And he had some good coverage after the nair yeah. with the shine because he knew that Hemiojo would be so thirsty for the grab at that point. Yeah. I mean, th that is one thing that you can kind of count on. When something is like the one thing that'll that'll give the game away, like you can kind of count on them going for it. Okay, here we go. Game number three, Hemiojo very wisely picking uh, Battlefield. This has that top platform like you mentioned before. Yeah. Giving him a lot of options uh, with shield dropping. And I, for me, whenever I play Sheik, I like this level because uh, the bear has so much coverage on platforms in particular and yeah. of the stage. Yeah, the, the ledge is really good for Sheik because it doesn't really hinder her recovery like at all. But Fox is limited. He can no longer ride the wall for the sweet spot, um, sweet spot Firefox. So going under the stage is a high risk for him. Um, she can also mix up recovery. How it's so bad, uh, before she gets to that like unsavable percent of sh she's going to get punished for her uh, her up B. Ooh, good drop nice, zone. Yeah. She can go to the platform just like that. See? Yeah, and it allows for a lot of different mix-ups if Hamilton does it right. You yeah. have to take into account whether he's going to be going for the edge, whether he's going to be going for the platform, or whether he's going to be going for the stage. I wonder what uh, Gabe banned. I can't think of a stage that maybe fountain probably probably been fountain, I see fountain because of the the ceiling's so high. Ooh. Oh wow! He's going for that sour spot up smash. I don't know if I agree. With, maybe he's just messing it up. Maybe he's probably meaning to turn it around. Who knows? Either way, I feel like the bear would have been like the better option. Gabe is doing a really good job of mixing up his recovery, not letting Hamiojo get those. Hamiojo is extending really far to get those edge guards, and a lot of them aren't connecting. Oh, oh. No, that was an air. Yep. And that costed me a little bit, didn't it? You have time to sip your tea, take a, uh, take a shower, come back, <laughs> and then punish Sheik after that up B. That's true. Let's see if Hamiojo can maybe find a retaliation. He finds the bear, and he has needles charged. Nice fair. And I think Gabe was maybe holding down there so that he could try to take onto the stage. But it just said it was such a horrendous angle that he couldn't make it back. Yeah, he was at high percentage anyway. It would have just been another edge guard position, even if he had survived. 
Ooh, we missed the wave, uh, the wave dash on that up smash. Shield drop, but here's the thing! Shine beats shield drop, sorry. Shine <laughs> the one frame move. I do I do that a lot when I especially when I'm playing against Yo, Ooh, that was the cleanest fair. Oh, no. So low and Tamyojo one stock away from eliminating game from this oh, tournament. Gosh, that hurt. You see seeing a flub take a stock like that, it hurts. Good try. Okay. This could be the start of something. Jeopardy yeah. set. Down throw, tech chase. Oh, that was oh smart. he, he mixed that it up that time. He went to uh he teched away instead of teching in like he did a lot of this round. See, Hamyojo beforehand demonstrated like a lot of patience, right? In that, in scenarios like that, he would just stand there and wait for Gabe to make a defensive option. But I think he's really thirsty for this KO, and he might be. Oh, oh the MVP needle. MLG needle. Oh no my God. scope. That Let's was go, so man. good. That was so clean. Needle's too good. Nerf, please. <laughs> Sakurai, where are you at? How long has it been? Eleven years. Can they? Uh, 